Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. And James, that Hey Recordology is dedicated to you and your daughter. Thank you so much for your awesome message. All right guys, a bit of a weird angle today because I want to show you the shirt. Yep, I know. It's... I bought my own merch. What am I going to say? But I want to show you what it looks like. It's cool. We have lots of cool shirts and stuff. Awesome things for you to check out. But today, speaking of checking out, here's the other light rig, by the way. I'm getting set up for the show today. We are going to be reviewing something really cool, but small. So earlier today, I was thinking, what would be a really cool show idea? My wife had an idea. Why don't you do something with the three-inch record players? Those are her favorites. So I present to you a three-inch record player. This is the Cruiser Mini, the Mini Cruiser. And this is the one with the ceramic cartridge. This one, this particular one is really quiet. Don't know why that is. Then you've got the RSD3 which was Crosley's original. This is the Record Store Day 3. This is one from 2019. And my favorite, which is clearly inspired by the RSD3, the RSD 2020, which is clear, and clear is cool. Tell me that is not cool. If you say it's not, you're wrong, because it is. If you haven't seen our previous videos on 3-inch records that we've done, it's an interesting format. It really, really is. The uh, people that I met with at CES, by the way, that's the same motor that drives a full-size Audio-Technica 3, Crosley Cruisers, a lot of Victrolas. That uh, JYC motor is a very popular motor. And um, as my friend Peter recently discovered, it's a two-position motor. So even though this is a 33 RPM only format, you can make modifications to it to spin 45. So you can make a modification and play your 4-inch um, hip pocket records on here, which is kind of cool. I think it's a cool format. I wish there's a little bit of wow and flutter on pretty much everything I've heard so far, which is annoying. Um, you know, when you're dealing with a record diameter this small, that is going to be a challenge. The RSD3 and the RSD2020 both use an Audio-Technica 3600 magnetic cartridge, so it has a preamp and everything. I mean, it's a full-blown turntable. Now, if you're going to play three-inch records, you got to, or have a three-inch record player, you got to play, have some three-inch records. So here's my collection. I've got everything from Post Malone in here to, you know, just some, a very wide variety of things. Got, you know, the Disney records on cool colored vinyl, all different colors and stuff. And by the way, again, if you haven't seen it already, the uh, three-inch records are uh, three-inch ABS plastic discs with a very thin vinyl wrap layer on one side. Most of these are one-sided. There are two-sided three-inch records. I've got one or two of those. So I thought we would just hook it up and give it a listen uh, with a good speaker, because the built-in speakers are adequate, but they sound like small speakers. The Mini Cruiser actually has stereo speakers. The other units are stereo, but only have mono speakers. So we're going to connect it to some good stereo speakers. By the way, the Mini Cruiser can actually transmit Bluetooth audio. For those of you that always, always, always ask when I do these videos, why? It's because it's fun. It's cool. It's interesting. It's something different. Okay? There you go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and connect this bad boy. It is battery powered, but you can run it off of a USB mini as well, which is what we're going to do. And then we're going to cable it to a speaker. Before I do that, though, I've got quite a variety of records. Really, really do. Some neat, neat stuff. This is cool. This is a custom record that uh, with a custom label made by Peter aka Fartamark. This one doesn't have a disc label. Oh, it does have the little hub label. Three Stooges. We're going to listen to this. There's some Three Stooges theme music on here. One of the questions that comes up sometimes in this, yes, this is a three inch blank CD, which happens to work well if you have a lathe like he does to cut custom three inch records. But the question comes up on these things. Um, here's the Glenn Miller one. This thing is so cool. I love this. I'm geeking out hardcore on this kind of stuff. It's totally awesome. With the reproduction label. Very, very fun. Here's an original 8-band record. 8-band, by the way, was... Uh, it came out. Was um, 8 centimeters across, which is approximately 3 inches to you and me. 
but um, you'll see the small hole on the older records and the spindle on the record player itself has that small hole size. But the newer records all have the, um, let me find a, let me find something here. Come on. Where are you? The new records all have the larger hole. So what gives? Why do the larger hole? So in talking to the people that were involved in this, or by the way, this is done by the same people that were involved in the original 8-band. It's a very, very interesting thing. But the idea was that if you had the small hole, you could never play it on a bigger record player, which these can be with the right adapter. But the people involved wanted to make sure that they had the ability, based on the format, to say, well, we have an adapter or we have a record player that can play both formats. So if they were to stick to the old size without the little adapter pieces that will allow it to play this hole, then they would be stuck by the limitations of the smaller players and you would not be able to play them on a bigger player. But they want that to happen down the road. Those of us that can't wait, we've already made our own adapters. So, all right, enough babbling. Let's get it hooked up. Okay, so here's what it sounds like without the external speaker. So it's kind of small sound, and all these kind of suffer from a little bit of volume, low volume. With the external speaker, a lot fuller, a lot richer. This is like some uh, Japanese 70s television stuff, like cartoon audio. Uh, pretty interesting. The record itself, very neat. I love the fact that a lot of them are colored. Is this one double-sided? No, this is single-sided as well. So there you go, 33 and a third RPM. So yeah, they do sound amazingly good on a full-size record player. We've done that before a lot too. Played them on the J7, if you can believe it. They actually sound pretty dang good. All right, so here's a modern record, just so you can hear the fidelity of it. Let's get to the near the end. So on these units, definitely not high fidelity by any means. But these records, play them on a larger unit, yes, high fidelity. It'll surprise you. It'll actually surprise you. Okay, let's listen to that Three Stooges record that Peter made. This is cool. Basically, I sent him some digital files. He was running some experiments with his lathe in this three-inch format. And I said, you know what, let's, let's do some different uh, Three Stooges intro sounds so he's like okay cool let's do it so here is that record sounds pretty dang good again custom made three inch record i'm gonna move the speaker closer to the oops stuff and good music too that is uh three stooges intro themes different ones and uh, that's a cool cool deal and as you saw earlier he did make me a glenn miller record which is so cool the cool factor on this i can't even get over it i mean look at that it's literally a legit rca victor sleeve and la label the bluebird label just miniaturized that is the coolest thing ever. I don't know if people don't understand why this is cool. I mean, come on, guys. This is just neat stuff. Let's play a little bit of this. 
to bring to every boy and girly his happy serenade. On. Surprisingly, maybe to you, I'll get copyright striked. Not striked, but I'll get a copyright content ID match, which basically means they'll demonetize the video. So I got to be careful. Uh, let's see what else. I got modern stuff too. Boring as it is, but where? I got some Post Malone. Yeah, you'll know those are the Johnny Cash ones. Let's listen to some Johnny Cash. This is off of a new release. These are Sun Records. So let's give that a listen. Again, every once in a while, I just like playing this stuff. I know we've talked about it before, but every once in a while, it's just fun to fun to play with stuff. So we're going to do that. And it's a pretty cool format, I think. You asked me if I'll miss her kisses. I guess I will. Now, the uh, RSD 2020 so far is the best sound, oops, three inch record player that I've come across. I know uh, Peter recently got the, uh, there are some three inch record players from NPK. I have not personally played with those, but I would like to eventually, I just haven't done it yet. Where in the heck is a post? Well, huh. I know I've got a handful of posty records. Here's one. It's like, come on, guys, is that the best you could do for a label? I'm glad they went with the colored vinyl. Why not, right? Why not? And let's go ahead and put it on here. I bored you guys before with the story about these adapters. Not just the story I told you earlier, but these are the second gen adapters because if this isn't perfect, you either get the record rides up too high and you know it doesn't play correctly, or if there's too much play in it, you get that wow and flutter. So designing the right adapter was was took some doing so okay here's posty okay so yeah pretty neat stuff it's a it's a fun format and the reason why is because why not it's a fun fun thing no it's not going to replace traditional vinyl it is an extra thing. It's a fun thing. It's a novelty, but it's cool. And they're coming out with new records. And um, there's a Sukiyaki record. I need to get that. I love that stuff. I love Sukiyaki. And um, started off with the... They usually release these in four record sets. So I started off with these Vince Giraldi uh, fantasy records for the uh, Snoopy's Christmas a couple of years ago. And then we kind of grew from there. These are the cases they come in too, by the way. I've because of the need of storage, I usually only keep the slip case and the uh, internal sleeve. But the boxes, a lot of times they'll do this, where they'll say it could be one of these four titles, and you don't know what you get until you open it. And then you open it up. Oh, I got this one. Okay, cool. And they put it on boring black vinyl. Come on, guys. <laughs> and uh, then you get always get like a little poster or something some kind of artwork so that's neat these stack up too i got a little collection of these in fact in the opening shot you could see behind me one of my johnny cash ones so all right guys that's gonna do it for today just playing around a little bit with the format hope you thought this was interesting if you did give me a thumbs up check out our merch tell your friends about us subscribe if you haven't done that already because i've been hankering for a live so i think we're gonna go live soon in the next week or so maybe and uh, you never know what we're going to do. Sometimes we do giveaways, sometimes we do contests and all that good stuff. Definitely want to interact with you guys daily. And I appreciate each and every one of you, wherever you are, whenever you're watching, all that good stuff. So God bless each and every one of you. And we will talk to you tomorrow.